Hey gardeners, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Check out what I found on my tomato plants this morning. So if you are out in your vegetable garden and you see some big honking caterpillars like this, you need to remove them off of your tomato plants as quickly as possible. These are tobacco hornworms. There's also tomato uh, hornworms as well. There's two different kinds there. You can see here, this one's got these white stripes on the side and these little, almost like little circles on, underneath them. They kind of look like those trademark signs actually, but surely this is not a trademark variety of tobacco hornworm. But right over here on the back side of it, you see a horn. That's where it gets its name. And on a tobacco hornworm, it's got a red horn. The tomato hornworms are blue, and then the sides, they'll have like a V pattern on the side instead of that stripe. Uh, either one of them needs to be removed from tomato plants. They are very damaging to your tomatoes. Now there's two things that you can do to prevent them. And I like to plant basil all over my gardens, but in this case, that, that did not help because I actually did not plant a basil in this area. I planted parsley instead. I really like the companion planting aspect. But when I have enough basil planted around everything, they tend to not be able to find my tomato plants. Uh, so that's kind of my first line of defense. If you spray with a product called BT, that is a bacteria, it's safe for organic gardening and stuff, uh, they will eat that and then it kind of destroys them from the inside. Now, if you're lucky enough and you wait long enough uh, or you don't catch them, there are some parasitic wasps that will come in, swoop in, and they'll lay their eggs into these caterpillars, which effectively kills them from the inside out. And then the wasps uh, use that as part of their uh, reproductive cycle. Uh, so if you're lucky enough to get those in the area, you'll notice that it looks like a whole bunch of little pieces of rice coming out of the back of them and that is a really good sign in that case i just leave those alone but these are actively um, growing and they don't seem to be damaged by anything you can see that one's trying to move around a bit on me um, so i'm going to get them out of the vegetable garden completely if you happen to raise chickens or or some sort of fowl you can throw that in with them and they will really enjoy that nice juicy treat first noticed damage a day or so ago it was just like the tips of my plants being cut and I first thought it was deer because we have a lot of deer in the area but as I investigated more it was like this is a plant that's in the very middle of the vegetable garden it, deer would have eaten a lot more than just this they would have kind of eaten it down to the very nubs of the plant and down in the dirt uh, then I thought rabbits and then I was like it's probably the caterpillar. So I came out this morning to take a look and I found those two on this plant. I haven't seen any others, but I'm gonna give it a pretty thorough inspection to make sure I don't have anything else. This is one of our cherry tomato plants. So I do wanna make sure that it's successful and we've got some good looking little cherries there. So your first sign of a hornworm will probably be where they've eaten some of the vegetation. And they blend in so well with the plant that they're very hard to see. That's why if you take a black light in the middle of the night, or it doesn't have to be in the middle of the night, just as soon as it's dark, you go to the garden and they show up really well with a black light. I've not actually done that most of the time. I'm just picking and pulling them off as I go, as I find them. Uh, but yeah, they can be very damaging. This is about one day's worth of damage right there by two tomato horn or tobacco hornworms. So these hornworms, they eventually turn into a sphinx moth, which are really cool looking moths. So maybe you don't want to kill these outright and maybe you want to go just replace them, take a little bit of that tomato vegetation and put them in another location uh, far away from your tomato plants where they're not going to do any damage. So you definitely don't want these guys going to town on your tomato plants. They will impact your other solanum family of plants. That would be your peppers, uh, tomatillos, other things. But tomatoes seem to be their favorite. They will chow those things down very quickly. So get them out of there as quick as you can. So hopefully this was helpful to you. I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Hit the like button and subscribe and remove those hornworms.